Hello, I'm going to explain to you about a CVC dressing change and this is my mannequin here and to change it I'll need clean gloves and a kit and of course a patient. I'm going to put the patient in semi fallers position which is not high fallers or low fallers but it's semi fallers and then I'm going to turn their head away from me so they don't cough on their site and, and get it infected and if they need to, we'll put a mask on them. And I also need to put a mask on myself to protect them from my germs. And the mask is found in the kit. So I'll open the kit up here. And I'm going to open it away from me. And the mask should be right on top. When you pick the mask up, it should have a little metal area right here, a little wiry area. Just put it around and then form that over your nose right there and then pull this down over your chin. But so you can hear me in this video, I'll take the mask off, okay? Put it to the side. So at this point, we'll pretend like I have the mask on and you're going to take off your dressing from outer to inner. So I'm just going to get a hold of this dressing and pull it from the outside to the inner. And you've got to be really careful when you get to, to the middle to stabilize it so you don't pull it out of the patient. So stabilize it there. Let's see if we can get this off without too much trauma. Okay, so now I'm going to put this in my gloves, throw my gloves away, and immediately I'll put on clean gloves to do the dressing change, or sterile gloves, I'm sorry, and see what's in my kit. If you look here real quick, see these little holes in this um, CVC? That is actually to keep it stitched into the patient, so it will actually be sutured into the patient's skin to keep it from coming out. We'll get everything out of our kit, and I'll show you what is going on here. Here's a little dressing, a little drain dressing, or it's called a slit or split dressing if you need it. This is called a chloroprep right here. I'll show you how to use this. This is a Tegaderm. And here's your red bag. Anything with a red bag, it all needs to be a red bag and put it in here. So we'll open up your red bag for the trash. Put it off the sterile fill. And this tape right here is just for extra security if you need extra security when you, when you uh, put dressing on it. A little alcohol prep. And this is also a skin protection prep. Um, you can take it and put it around the skin here to hold the Tegaderm on if needed. So we'll get our stuff here. Now let me show you this. These are your alcohol swab sticks and if you have something like this in your kit, just take it and open it on one side and then go to the other and open that and twist it. And then you'll have a little extra alcohol in here so you'll pour it out, the excess out. And then you'll take it, and I'm going to establish kind of a dirty hand, dirty finger here. So I'm going to stabilize it here. And right where it goes in is where you want to start. And you want to swab it from inner to outer, pulling the germs away from the port of entry. And as you swab it, you can rotate the swab stick, twirl it around a little bit. So now that we've finished the first one, we're going to go around our sterile field and put it in the trash, and you have two more left. So the same thing, you start at the point of entry, and you swab it, and rotate your swab stick all the way around, and go around. So you will use all three of these swab sticks here. Rotate it. All the way. And I'm going to get rid of this too. 
Now at this point, you'll see that underneath, because it's stitched in, I wasn't able to clean it. So I'm going to take my alcohol pad with my clean hand, and I still have some clean fingers. I'll just go ahead and open it in the middle, and I'm going to slide it under these three tubes and clean <coughs> under there. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so that's how you clean it. Most of your kits don't come with a chloroprep too. Yours is a training kit, so it does. So I'm going to show you how to use the chloroprep. The chloroprep has solution inside. So when you get one of these, you take it and you just squeeze it like this. And when you squeeze it, it should become soapy and moist in the middle here. So once you get that, you can take it this and use it the same as the other. Go from inner to outer and just pull it away from the field and go around. Okay, at this point, if you need to, you can take your dressing and dry it off and go around your sterile field. And this little drain sponge right here, it's meant to go, oops, that kind of stuck to my glove. It's meant to go right here if it's really draining or bleeding under the tegaderm. But most of the time you want to see your site. So you will leave this little drain sponge off out of the way. So you'll just leave this off. <clears throat> okay, for your tegaderm, when you put that on, you'll just take the back off, like the back of a Band-Aid. And you'll take it and you'll just put it right over the blue part, right here. Just put it down nicely and then peel off the edges. Throw that away. And then you have a little label here that says your name and the date and the time you changed it. If you'll go ahead and fill that out and then peel that off. And then stick it on your tegaderm, not over the site, but next to it so the next person can see when it was last done. And that's all to changing your CVC dressing. See if you can answer these questions.